Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And guys, I'm sorry that this video is a little bit late coming out tonight. The reason being is I had to reorganize all the photos to the best of my ability. I didn't really do all that great of a job. And I'm just really tired today. I was up really late last night recording a few things with my buddy Bread Jam. Um, more about that later on in another video. I'm going to try to remember to put his link in the description below, but if I forget, I'm sorry buddy. It happens. That and I was nomming on Chinese food. So let's get into this. There's not a lot to cover this week. This week we have Vio Valos fighting Xion in this awesome armory. But yeah, um, so it's Alt Mile versus Aqua Force once again. And yeah. So it's a pretty standard episode. It was a night. I felt like this was more of a filler trying to clean up how the arc is going to proceed. I only see there being another like five or six episodes left in all honesty, guys. Um, enough to finish out through February and maybe to kill one more in March. But that's about it. So we have Xion here challenging him to a battle. They accept each other's fight and they proceed with a fight. So yeah. That's about it that happened there. We get the whole stand up stand up zip vanguard and stand up the vanguard sequence, which is the thumbnail. Or actually I'm thinking this will be the thumbnail. Beside this normally after. So I mean the fight is pretty standard. We get to see some new units, sort of like evolutionaries of the original trial deck stuff is what I like to refer this to as. But we see some new grade twos and some new grade ones for the deck. Obviously this isn't new. He looks new. I believe he's new. Um, yeah. So we sort of just get a handful of new units. Um, and sort of we get to see the new alt mile. So yeah, the turns are pretty standard, and this is the new name of the new alt mile: Higher DD Knight Alt Mile. And its skill, like many of the new grade threes that are being played or made to finish the set off, are when this unit's placed on Vanguard or Stride, activate skill, search your deck for a word with the keyword Brave. This deck actually makes Brave really powerful. And we'll get into that a little bit later in the episode. So it's a pretty standard fight. Shion attacks, fails, he has to defend. Um, and this Valos is starting to lose his mind. Honestly, he was a good villain for this series and he would have been a nice wrap-up villain. But they had to make him insane and crazy, not like his normal calm, cool, collected self. So yeah, we get this. He he goes over a story of how he felt joy when G Giza finally like took control and all that other stuff of death. He's a weird character. So obviously, as you would have guessed, he goes through his flood hazard turn, gets a lot of attacks off, and then we go into Alt Mile. Uh, we finally get to see uh, Divine, Heavenly, Aerial, whatever, Alt Mile. Uh, my brain died there. It's uh, uh, Aerial, Alt Mile, or whatever. I don't know if my Alt Mile deck is in, within reach. I don't think it is. No, it's within my bag of decks. So, yeah. Um, he, he calls Aerial, Divine, Knight, Alt Mile and does shenanigans, uses his new alt miles, superior calling stuff. Um, he gets about five, six, or seven attacks off. He does it, he does really good this turn. And yeah, the fight's progressively pretty decent. Um, I don't have a lot of photos because my computer was being slow today. So we're just going to continue along with this. But no, it wasn't a bad battle. It was pretty standard. And then he attacks. See, we have more units. Um, this was probably an, meant to be an earlier photo and I just didn't realize it. And then obviously, because this wouldn't be a Xeroth fight without a Xeroth dragon. So, he Xion fails that turn to finish him off, although Xion got him at 5 damage really early on in the game. He's, he strides and superior calls 5s, give them all 5k, and the ability to change places. And he goes through his turn... Um, he attacks with his ult ultimate stride and he fails. 
and all of his powers are gone, and then Shion decides to pick up the pace with his turn with a really cool card. He does a whole bunch of things. Um, that's a later. That was meant to be later. So, again, like I said, some of these photos are out of order. But, so, he goes through, like, this whole speech, my conviction, my pride, and my future. Really cool speech. And then he has this memory about Altmile and how, when he first saw him, he wanted to have justice. I will, um, and how he had his, like, little diff moment with him. So, that's what this, this is what I'm going to call this moment, is a diff ride moment. And then... The two planets, Cray and Earth, communicate, and for one split second, the power of Fetus comes back. Fetus, Fetus is its name, not Fetus. Fetus would be weird. Fetus has returned. Indestructible soul. And then we get to see, much like last season in Stride Gate arc, not last season, the season before that, but during the Stride Gate arc, this exact same thing happens, where Fetus glows full of power and then guess what straight up generation we get we get a new g unit out of nowhere because bushiro's running away out of how to make cards we get immortal holy sword fitus honestly i feel like the name could have been better but fitus's skill is pretty good which leads to the card we saw earlier in a nutshell all the way back here Fidus, after all your calling shenanigans, Fidus's main skill is um, unless you, if he doesn't guard with two or more guardians, when a unit with brave attacks, you can't the the attack will hit regardless. So even with a nullify, you have to put down a nullify and something else in order to prevent this guy and any of your brave rear guards from hitting. So he so the battle progresses. He calls more things. He attacks. And then he gets triple critical because this game is favoring victors right now. So he triple crits Vi Vidos and actually beats him. Um, his whole G-Zone burns up. Um, I believe I had a picture. There it is. So this was meant to be beforehand. I don't know why this my, my computer is being stupid today. But we're continuing forth with the symmetry of losing your... Main grade three as your soul. So then Shion talks with um with someone for a bit. I can't remember who. I think it's Chris. Talks with Chris. We'll, we'll go with that. Tells him where he needs to go. Oh yeah, and Vitos just sort of disappears into oblivion. There we go. See, he talked to Chris, and he told Shion to meet up with um Chrono. Um, and then we get a cutscene with Lord Giza being awakened in chaos and Darkface are chilling here. Not really so much a lot happened there. It's just sort of a, short of a, like I said, it was a filler episode this week in my opinion. It was an okay fight, but honestly I would have preferred to see what we're probably going to get next week. Which, so everyone meets up, Anjo, uh, sh Tokoha, Anjo, Chrono, and Shion are all finally back together. We finally get Tri-3 or back with each other for next week's episode to fight Chrono's father, which I don't have a picture of because my computer is being stupid again. But turn 17, Land of Descend. So overall, I'm pretty excited for next week's episode. It's been a while since we've seen these three in one grouping together for a team for a while being that the prior season was all about their individual teams and their growth and adding in characters but overall this episode wasn't terrible i would have to say um the best part was the fight when we get to see the new fighters and i honestly called it at the beginning of the season when we first start destroyed just under I want to say it was like the third or so episode. So just under 14 episodes ago, we saw it de destroyed and it's been resur resurrected. And all this guy wants to do is just continuously destroy Fidus. 
but he didn't get to it. And honestly, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode off. There wasn't a lot to talk about or to cover. Not a lot of relevation in card skills or honestly anything new. We didn't get a new alt miles stride, which I was kind of hoping for. But at the same time, I'm really happy we didn't. But um, yeah, guys. So here's, here's my little spiel at the end of the video. Right now, it's the 27th. Most of you will probably be watching this after the fact. My goal is to reach 200 subscribers by the end of the month. So by February 1st, I'd like to reach my final 12 subscribers. And we're doing pretty good thus far. We're on the road. So guys, please, 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 please subscribe if you're new and hit the like button, button if you did enjoy. Also, last week we barely just, I haven't checked as of late, but we were just barely under 500 views for the last week's episode. And I feel like that probably contributes to a bit about the length. So I'm going to try to keep these episodes under... 15 minutes long so could you please share with your friends and again like honestly it, it tells me what we want to see um let me know if you guys want to see more deck profiles i'm currently working on buddy fight stuff and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in the background i'm also working on a couple of side projects i'm getting fortnite edited right now so it can go up at some point this week so you guys can tell me if you guys want to see more fortnite content and else what else you would like to see and tell me who else you'd like to see more of. It's been a while since me and Black Moon have done a video together and a couple of other friends. So please, guys, leave things down in the comments below that you want to know more info on or know more about or what you want to see more of. And guys, we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the by summer because of YouTube's new policy. So again, please just let me know what you guys want to see. I'll, let you, I'll keep you guys in the loop on what I'm recording. And again, I'm really sorry that this episode was sporadic and sort of all over the place for an episode review. If I had more time, I'd go back and watch the episode, but I'm honestly really tired. So I'm going to get this uploaded, titled, thumbnailed, and all that other great stuff so you guys can watch it hopefully soon. But guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf. I'll see you all later. Peace.